What is good, everybody? It's D Brown Shanhan, and we are back today with another episode of a series that we haven't done in a while. We haven't done a series in a while, and of course, that series that I'm talking about is the cringiest player models in NBA 2K history. And in today's episode, we're only gonna be talking about two games, players from two games, and that's just because I've been going back and forth between 2K20 and 2K11 for the series. And so that's where all of the players are from. Uh, yeah, so without any further ado, man, let's get right into it. So we're gonna start off by talking about the NBA 2K11 players first. And the first NBA 2K11 player that we're gonna talk about is Anthony Tolliver. Now in 2K11, Anthony Tolliver was a member of the Timberwolves, right? And I guess he must have like slid under my radar because I know most players from like on any team, I know pretty much all players because like I, you know, I played that game. I watched basketball back then, but somehow I don't really remember him like that. And like every time I think of Anthony Tolliver, like I just think of, you know, the three point shooter. He's bald. What I see him in the way that he looks now. Right. In 2K11. Anthony Tolliver has hair. And, and the hair is not the cringe part. The hair is not even what makes him cringe. It's his face. Just look at his mouth or his jaw, or especially that top lip. Anthony Tolliver's top lip is not that big. I don't, I don't know if they were roasting. I don't know if they was joning. They was trying to be funny. But that man's top lip is almost as big as his nose, bruh. And the crazy part about it, he looks more like Donnell Rollins, you know, Ashley Larry from Chappelle Show. He looks more like him than he does Anthony Tolliver. And, you know, that ashy ass top lip is not helping. And moving on to the next person on the list, we have NBA 2K11, Anderson Verjao. Yes, Anderson Verjao. Now, when I, when I see Anderson Verjao's face on NBA 2K11, I can't help but think, why? Why does he look like this? There, there is no point of his career where his where Anderson Verjao, not, not when he was a 50 overall in the early NBA lives or the early 2Ks, there was no point where his face looked how it looks in this game. Just look at that big pile of fuzzy ass texture on his head. What, what is that? What is that? It's like you touch it, you get a goddamn paper cut. And the face is almost just as bad. Like, look at his face. It looked like he smells something. You know, like when you make like somebody. You know, you, you know what face I'm talking about. It look like he's making he's making that face, right? And as strange as Virgil looks in the clip that you're seeing right now, you that clip don't do it justice. You have to. You have to play a full game, right? You gotta go into 2K11. You gotta play a full game. You gotta see him get fouled. You gotta see him shoot a jump shot. You gotta see him go up for a rebound. You gotta see what it looks like when when he fouls somebody. Like the facial expressions that this player model makes, bruh. It's like, it's hilarious. And it's like something out of a horror movie, like all at once. It's fucking gross is what it is. And moving on to the next person on the list, I wouldn't be surprised if some of y'all probably were expecting this. Eric Maynard, 2K11 Eric Maynard. Yes, my, my Oklahoma City Thunder teammate for the 2K11 series. First and foremost, the shape of his head is like, it's, it looked like some PlayStation 1 type mess, right? Like, it's not as like polygonal, is, is that the word? Is that, if that's even a word? It's not as like clunky looking, but it's like they took a PlayStation 1 head and like smoothed it out with like Xbox 360 graphics, if that if that makes sense. And they really did Maynard dirtiest in the face. Now, I can't really decide if this looks like him or not, but whether it looks like him or not, the look that they gave him on his face, like the permanent look on his face, like the way his face, it, it's a very like, it's a, it's a doofy ass look. Like he looks, he looked like he about to end up on Shaq and the Fool. That's the best way I could put it. Would I be reaching if I said Eric Maynard 2K11 look like Mr. Poopy Butthole? Like if you made him, if Mr. Poopy Butthole was gonna get turned into a human, I don't think I'm reaching. I don't know, man. It's just, he just he's just a very strange looking fella. And if anybody knows about strange looking fellas, it's this guy, <laughs> trust me. And now moving on to NBA 2K's 20 players from the list. Now the first player on this list, well the first two players on this list, it's weird because they were in the last episode of this uh, series and it's Kobe and D Fish. Uh, I said that 2K10 Kobe and D Fish were cringy because Derek Fisher looked like he ate Derek Fisher and he looked like he, he gave Derek Fisher some steroids and then ate him and he, you know, like he sailed them, he, he absorbed them. And Kobe just looked kind of weird, but in 2K20, if you go play with the 2003-2004 Los Angeles Lakers, Kobe's face, it's like, it's, it's kind of the same as the 2K10 one. He looks like Kobe until you until you get take like a, a really good look at him right when you get a close-up look at him you're like yo yo something's a little off like maybe his his complexion's a little darker maybe they didn't like spend enough time on the the facial features or something but it, it looks like kobe 
until you see a picture of Kobe. What's that joke Cat Williams had, right? It looked like a, it looks like a phantom until a phantom pull up, right? I mean, it's not horrible. It's just something that me and my friend, my friend is like a diehard Kobe stand. He, I noticed it, and he was like, I was thinking the same thing, and I was like, yo, hey, that's good enough for me. We both don't think you look like him. Maybe they don't think you look like him. And then on that same team is the tragedy that that they call Derek Fisher. That's not that's not Derek Fisher. I I don't I don't. I don't even, I don't got no jokes for it. I don't got no jokes for it. It don't look like Derek Fisher. I don't think they tried. Like, who the fuck is that? So moving on to the next person on the list, it is NBA 2K20, Cam Reddish, the Hawks rookie. Cam Reddish on NBA 2K20, it looks like they took his haircut and his facial hair, right? They got it, they got that right. They took that and just put it on like a, a preset, a pre-made player. And outside of his like facial features, like his lips, like they gave they gave Cam Reddish the I've been smoking blunt since I was twelve lips. I'm not even gonna say no homo because can't you like get canceled for that now? Like I, I don't know. But uh, his lips don't look like that. Real life Cam Reddish lips don't look like that. I came across a uh, like a, a picture on Google. Uh, I think it's a thumbnail from the, the YouTube channel The Goods. You know, check his channel out if you're interested. He, it's like a it's a I think it's it's a cyber face. Yeah, that's what it's called. The cyber faces where people go in and they like. They'll redo a player model to make it look like the actual player. And a lot of PC players are like hella good at this. Even better than the goddamn dev sometimes. But uh, yeah, but you can see from the images on the screen, the Cam Reddish that we got in NBA 2K20 is, that, that's not Cam Reddish. That don't look like him. It's, it's cringe, bro. I'm sorry. And now moving on to the last person or persons on the list. It is the NBA 2K20 historic team fake players. Now... I saw this on the Lakers historic team because this is this is when I noticed it when I was playing with the 0304 Lakers. So I don't know if all of the fake players have the same player model, but at least all of them. So I just double checked and in NBA 2K20, the way that they do the fake players is that there are two fake player models and every team has either one or the other and no teams have both. You either have the bald white dude or the buzz cut black dude, but all the fake players on the team is gonna be the same dude. But this year in NBA 2K20, the fake players, like, they tried to give them drip for some reason. Like, they tried to give them, like, accessories. So, like, they got they got headbands, sleeves. The ones on the Lakers all, like, I don't, maybe all of them have all the same gear. But the ones on the Lakers are all wearing the headband, sleeves, uh, compression pants, and Kyrie's. So, so my dumb ass, while I'm playing with the Lakers, I was confusing them for, for real players. I'm swinging the ball, swinging the ball while my play starters on the bench. And I'm taking threes with 50 overalls because they got gear on and I'm thinking they're real players. And you might be thinking, D. Brown, what's so cringe about fake players having accessories? That's not the cringe part. The cringe part is that at least the ones on the Lakers, all of the, the fake players that I've seen so far in NBA 2K20, they all have the same player model, this white dude with a bald head with the, you know, the accessories I told you. But he looks like, all right, my Harry Potter fans, y'all gonna feel me on this one. If, if Laura Voldemort stumbled on YouTube and he he and he came across a kill cars ball is life mixtape in 2011 that that is the players that is the fake players in NBA 2k20 Lord Voldemort if he was watching ball is life videos and I just know I can't be the only person who's gotten fooled by one of these dudes thinking there was like a real player coming off the bench who had a lot of gear on for some reason I, I just know I can't be but that's all I got for y'all today man if you enjoyed the list make sure you leave a like Tell me down below if you think I'm missing out on anybody, maybe somebody from this game. It don't even matter what 2K. If you just know somebody who who their player model was hella cringy and I haven't mentioned them in any of the, the past episodes, drop your comment down below. And if, you know, if I if I go through the game and I take a look and I'm like, yo, that's, <laughs> that's cringy, then you can end up in the next video. But uh, yeah, like I said, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit like, share it with your friends. As always, man, I'm D. Brown Shanghai. Boy, I ain't been on camera in a video in so long, I don't even know if I just did my outro right, but uh, I'm about out of here, man.